I think nobody would argue that growing in our faith is a bad thing. We would all say um, it's important, we're called to do it, but we sure do come up with a lot of excuses as to why we don't do it. What we want to do is come alongside people and encourage them and equip them to have opportunities to grow. We shouldn't stop learning and growing when we graduate from high school or college. We have a great opportunity with um, Wednesday nights. Our children have a place to be, so you can have a place to be and show your kids that Wednesdays or learning about God through the week isn't just for them, but there's a place for parents to grow too. To me, it's not just about the faith side. It's not just about trust, but it's also about actions. And I think often spiritual disciplines help us with the actions of how we walk out our faith. The spiritual disciplines has always kind of been a scary thing to me. The real discipline is um, more a negative connotation, um, for me at least, with discipline. And it always sounded very hard to me. So I really am hoping that in these, we'll understand that by doing these things, this is to draw me closer to God. It's vehicles for us to tune into God's heart. And we know like some of the practices that like Bible reading is listening from God, but we can easily turn Bible reading into just a checklist. Or we know that prayer is about us communicating with God, but um, we can easily turn prayer into trying to manipulate God into getting what we want. The, the disciplines need to come out of a relationship with Jesus. That's what they're about. We don't do this in order to impress anybody else or to think we're impressing God. This is just something we do because we're in love and we want that love to grow deeper. So often, this, we show discipline in every area of our lives. We're very disciplined creatures. When we want something, we, we go and we do it. A relationship with God just doesn't happen. It just doesn't materialize out of nowhere. If, if it's something that is meaningful and valuable to you, like anything else in your life, you're going to have to work for it a little bit, and that's not a bad thing. We've all had times where we've said, okay, I'm going to do this, and we've tried to do it on our own. And when we try to do it on our own, it doesn't, it doesn't happen quite often. We, we slow down and we quit. But doing this in community, doing this together will be some encouragement, some um, accountability. And there will be times when we're doing well and times when we're not. And it will be, of course, filled with grace and love because none of these things save us. Whether you're a brand new Christian or you've been doing this for decades, there's always room to grow. None of us has reached that pinnacle of perfection in our faith. And so if we come with that mindset that I might be here, but there's a whole lot of room ahead of me yet, then, um, then I think we get people excited about growth.